Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio workshop. As always, I am here with Matt Zuri. Greetings. And uh, today we are going over a beacon moduled oil build. Uh, this uh, It was requested like a general beacon um, and moduled oil build in the last workshop video. Someone requested that we do one on that. And actually today someone posted on Reddit um, this design. So credit for this uh, specific design goes to them. Uh, they're is a post that will be linked in the description if you want to check it out but uh you know they shared it anyway so i don't think there's an issue here anyway um we're going to kind of go over some numbers and you know how fast this does stuff um any issues there is are rather and uh you know how many you can stack in a row so on and so forth so uh you have some some numbers you figured out for us here zuri yes uh you need to feed this with about 28 oil per second which means yeah make sure i'm doing this right 14 water a second and it produces about 30 gas a second right this entire bill and yeah the, the whole stack including the all put the whole thing together yeah all the cracking and such so so yeah um 28 oil in 14 water about, and 30 gas out. Uh, this is per second, by the way, um, from this stamp, which uh, is pretty good. I mean, 30 gas a second is, you know, pretty decent. It's the power of beacon. Yeah, definitely. Power of beacons and modules. You'll notice that all of these have productivity modules, which is uh, pretty important. And... Um, one quick note is that in this particular setup, one of these refineries actually has a slightly faster speed than the others, and that's just due to how these beacons are set up. Uh, and in fact, these chemical plants do as well. Some of these have different speeds than others, but, you know, that's just kind of the nature of how the beacons are set up. And, yeah, so you have your heavy oil coming up here, and a quick note with this is this is actually quite a bit over... Um, production most of the time. This second refinery here for the heavy to light cracking is not used um, all the time, but if you don't have it, these heavy pipes do eventually back up. Um, in this case, it's actually the first one that's not used much, but you do need it. Otherwise, over several minutes, this heavy pipe does end up backing up. Also, I really advise people to limit pipe flow to about 90 or less. So I wouldn't ever build more than three of these from a single pipe. Right. Uh, maybe up to six if you feed it from both ends. Yeah, that's a very important point. Um, yeah, you don't want to be stamping like 10 of these in a row and feed it from one side um, or even two sides at that point. But um, yeah, as Zuri said, so three in a row, um, obviously hooked together is what we mean. Um, you could feed it from one side and then anything past that up to six, you would want to feed the oil at least um, in from both sides and probably export the petrol out both sides, right, Zuri? That's correct. Right. So, um, I mean, that pretty much covers it. It's a, it's a decent build. I mean, you obviously there's many different ways you could do this. You know, if you space it out more, you could like double beacon stuff, you could rearrange your beacons, um, but this is a pretty nice example. Um, it is tileable as well, I believe. Yes, it's tileable. Perfect. So that's even better as well. Um, now, are there any adjustments you would make to this or any uh, complaints or changes? Not really. This is the kind of build I like to do. A uh, simple, small build that I can just stamp multiples of all over the places I need. This is a good example of a good oil build, I think. Yeah, I would definitely agree. So there you go. Zuri's stamp of approval and my stamp of approval, whatever that means. Um, but, uh, yeah, really, I mean, the only thing, I guess, is it doesn't have smart controls we were talking earlier in terms of, like, wiring and pipes. But really, the ratios are pretty much correct um, almost entirely. So these shouldn't really ever back up anyway unless your Petro backs up. But then that's fine because the Petro is what you need most anyway. So if you're not using it, it's fine to back up the rest. And we've kind of gone over this in previous videos anyway. But, um, 
yeah, no tanks, which is perfect. Um, on the Reddit post, they do post a picture of them using um, an excessive amount of tanks. Uh, I guess a quick side note is we would suggest not doing that. But yeah, Avoid using tanks. Uh, I swear we've done the video on that before, though. Oh, yeah, we have, but people may not see it. And there's still lots of people who comment on the video um, wondering why we say that. I guess... Um, I guess while we're here, uh, if you just want to give a, like a really brief overview of why not to use tanks, because I know there's people who are going to be wondering. For the most part, with things like acid, it's a wasted product. It's gas you turn into acid is gas you can't turn into plastic or anything else. So it's kind of a lost produce and a little bit of gas goes a long way like yeah uh I, I think i did the math on another video like one chemical plant and this is unmoduled and unbeacon mind you one chemical plant constantly producing gas can supply like 12 and a half battery factor or battery chemical plants and uh yeah so when you have like 10 tanks of gas um or acid rather each one storing 2,500, um, that is a massive amount of ga uh, uh, acid that you have just, I mean, you can't turn it back into petroleum. So exactly as Zuri said, like that's just a waste that you can't turn into plastic or anything else. All right. And also for lube, or, well, lube you might need to store up, maybe a, like one storage tank. But for crude oil, it's much more efficient to store them in barrels. It's the higher storage capacity. It's easier to move around. It doesn't take up nearly as much space. It's just all around better to use barrels for uh, crude oil. Yeah, that's a very good point as well. Um, you can store a lot more and a lot less space, and um, it's a lot easier to move. You don't have to use like steam engines or pump craziness to pump out the tanks to move them if you need to. And uh, and yeah, so there you go. Uh, I think that's about it. We did veer off a little bit, but I know there were people who were probably wondering about the tank thing. So there you go. And I think that'll do it, guys. Uh, again, link to the Reddit post in the description. And on that post, there's a blueprint string for this as well, so you can grab that there. Any comments, questions, submissions you have would be fantastic if you want to leave them in the comments. And unless Zuri has any other thoughts, I think we will call it here. Uh, I'd use this for just pure gas and if you need light or heavy for something else i'd use a different foil build actually but yeah this is a pretty good focused build yeah very good point for sure definitely so there you go guys as always thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed and uh until next time we will catch you later later